guys, what's up? Teresa here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a demo slash review on a product that I have actually never tried the brand at all. And um, I got curious and was in a chat a little over a week ago with some other uh, beauty influencers, content creators uh, that I follow and I really do like and appreciate. This is the AJ Crimson Foundation, you guys. And this is the outer packaging right here. It didn't come in any like other packaging other than what it was packaged in, if you will, uh, if you know what I mean. So this is the outer packaging and I got it in the shade three. Now, AJ Crimson is a celebrity makeup artist. Um, he's been in the game for a long time and he has worked with Angela Bassett, Mary J. Blige, Lauren London, just to name a few. And I thought that I would give his foundation a try and see what I thought of it. And I thought, why not sit down on camera and show you guys, obviously. Um, so I'm opening the package. So this came a couple days ago, you guys. And I saw, as you can see, you can see my little fingerprint in it. Now it looks brighter in the light. Obviously, because these lights blow, blow everything out. However, I'm thinking this product is too, it's more tan, it's not medium neutral. However, when I checked on his site for my skin complexion, he told me to go, well not me, you know. He says for a medium neutral skin complexion, go for number three. So, you guys, I don't know what we're gonna get with this guy today. Um, hopefully, it will work out. Now, I did put a little bit on the side of my cheek when it came in a few days ago, and it just blended into my skin. So I'm hoping that it works with my all of my other products, the concealer and all of that good stuff. So we're gonna test it out today and see what it's all about. Now, as you guys can tell, I have a zero makeup on. I did do my brows off of camera. I'm just gonna go in with my Milk Makeup Primer right here and prime my face. Okay guys, you have to let that primer just settle down a little bit, just dry down a bit, and then I can go in with the foundation. Now, he recommends, AJ Crimson himself recommends that you use a blush brush. Uh, you guys know I love my Sonia Kashuk sponge. So what I'm gonna do is go in on the right side of my face and I'm going to use my Sonia G Cheek Pro brush and then, and this is squirrel hair. Um, and then on the left side of my face, I'm gonna use my Sonia Kashuk sponge. This is a full coverage foundation. You guys know that I like my medium coverage, medium to light coverage. However, I feel like I would typically like just to use a sponge, but for the vi purpose of the video, I'm just gonna go in with both uh, a brush and the sponge. Okay, so I'm gonna start on my right side first, and I'm gonna go in. Now I'm gonna go easy, because this is very full coverage. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, this is more of a tan shade. I'm a little more neutral, and this is more medium tan. But I feel like I can make it work once I use my concealer, my powders, and all of that good stuff. This is a good summer shade for me. I feel like if I was out in the sun, you know, on vacation, it would work. But 
this is not my exact shade. So again, I used the Sonia G brush, uh, the Cheek Pro, to apply it on the right side of my face. Now I'm gonna go in with my sponge, my Sonia G on the left side of my face. Okay guys, as you can tell, this is not my shade. And I had a feeling when I got it. Again, I'm going to try to manipulate this as much as possible. I feel like the formula is very, very, very nice. Um, it goes on very seamlessly, very, very nice texture. It's just not the shade for me. I may have to get a lighter shade and mix the two, but I'm going to go off of camera and I'm going to apply my concealer, you know, my powders, do my eyes, lips, all that jazz and come back and give you guys my final thoughts. Now again, as you guys could tell, and by the way, I'm, I do have clothes on under this. I have a tube top, <laughs> but um, I do like the formula a lot, guys. It's just not my shade but I'm gonna make it work. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera, finish my beat, and I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back, and I wanna give you guys my final thoughts on the AJ Crimson Foundation. So, you guys, I really do like this foundation. I like the formula of it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, I would use this if I was on vacation. I feel like it would work if I had more of a tan, or I will just mix this with other foundations that I have, but I'm going to continue to use it. I really do like the formula. And as far as the foundation goes on the skin, I feel like it looks really nice on my pores. It's a very light, consistency like it my skin I don't feel like I have any foundation on my face which you guys know I really truly like and um, I made it work I mean it has more of a yellow tone undertone to it and it's more of that tan medium tan feel and I feel like I made it work so if I was tanned I feel like I could get away with it and I'm gonna continue to use it you guys and just mix it in with other foundations that I already have the formula is fantastic. I like it a lot. It retails for $45. I will leave all of the information in the description bar down below. The packaging is nice and sleek. So um, I really do like it. I love the formula and um, I really like how my makeup came out. All of the products that I put on my face meshed well with the foundation. So I have no complaints. Now, if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all social media handles. I'm very active on social media, you guys, so check me out. Make sure that you click that bell bar down below, that icon that looks like a bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And make sure you subscribe, guys. Make sure you share and like the video. I truly appreciate all of you guys. And welcome to the beauty family over here, okay? Um, I know that I've gotten some new subscribers lately and I just wanna tell you all, I appreciate you very much. And until next week, take care, guys. Bye.